TX. I posted a video of a grown woman keying my car on a local group. She's now threatening me with lawsuits for libel. Texas. I own a Tesla, which has surround cameras. Apparently this genius didn't know that. Clear as day, this grown a s woman who lived in a different subdivision, walks up to my car, keys it from rear to front, and keeps walking. Her face is perfectly visible in the video. I went to the police, filed a report, gave them the footage, they charged her with vandalism I believe? Not too sure what the exact charge was. In the meantime, I had posted the video on our local Facebook group. I didn't say anything demeaning, literally just posted the video without any caption or commentary and it blew up. People shared it around, liked, commented, shamed her properly etc. The turd face reached out to tell me she lost her career, and I did irreparable damage, ha, to her by pressing charges and posting the video. Excuse me? Apparently her boss saw it and gave her the boot. She threatened to sue me for lost reputation and wages, caused by her crimes. Should I talk to a lawyer or do anything preemptively? Does she have any ground to stand on for those claims? Plenty of people threaten to sue, far fewer actually follow through. If you actually are sued, you absolutely need to respond and speak to an attorney, but otherwise, just block and ignore her. Nah, she probably won't sue you. And if she does, she probably wouldn't win. Facts are not defamatory. Why did she do it? Truth is an absolute defense to defamation, libel, slander, so she is just whining. Tell her to not contact you anymore, and turn the conversation over to the officer handling your case. Theoretically, the DA could consider it harassing, threatening a witness. If you can find out who the prosecutor is for the case, you can ask if they can push for a no-contact order. Awesome. I have called the officer who took my report about it and he told me to email him the conversation. Am I correct in understanding that she proactively contacted you? So now you have her name and contact information so you can pursue her for the cost of fixing your car? That was nice of her. Yes. She reached out to me on Facebook, which has her full, real, name. She's not the brightest bulb, obviously, but we already knew that. As they say, the truth is an absolute defense against slander, libel, defamation. Texas small claims limit is 20k. If you're not going through insurance, be sure to take her to small claims for the damage as well. If you are going through insurance, be sure to pass them the information of who did it so they can sue her. Truth is a defense to libel. She has no case. An essential element to libel is your representation must be untrue. If you just posted a video and said someone keyed my car? Though it's true anyone can sue for anything. Lawyers don't want to deal with these people post the initial retainer. They may write a form letter then quote an astronomical price to file suit hoping she goes away, or pays for their new car. The police will charge her, but you should sue her for damage to your property. If she has a house she has a homeowner's policy. That policy would likely have coverage for damage to other people's property. So, I believe, that when you file with your insurance company to repair your vehicle, they should will go after her homeowner's insurance for the payment. I'm not entirely sure the insurance will cover the claim. There's a chance the claim would be denied as the act of the damage was criminal. I know that painting Teslas are expensive. If the cost will be over $2,500 seems she'll be subject to a felony. Good luck with future employment. It will be excluded as intentional conduct by the defendant's insurance. But Ops Insurance will pay for the repairs and then it can sue the defendant for the amount it paid in repairs, it's called subrogation. Alternatively, the criminal matter may require the defendant to pay restitutions as part of the criminal sentence. Interesting. My insurance is progressive and they've been alerted. The damage will cost a pretty penny to repair and I'll be out of a car for a while. Do I need to tell Progressive to look into her HOI or is that already their procedure anyway? Thanks. It can't hurt to give your insurance company this information. They may do nothing with it, or they may do something. Ignore her. Don't engage or talk to her. If you get served legally then get a lawyer. Make sure you keep the messages and give them to the police. In case she wants a trial for some reason, the messages are highly incriminating. 